Section 2.3, Measured Numbers and Significant Figures. When you make a measurement, you use some type of measuring device. For example, when you use a meter stick to measure your height, a scale to check your weight, or a thermometer to take your temperature. Measured numbers are the numbers you obtain when you measure a quantity using a measuring tool. Suppose you are going to measure lengths of objects in Figure 2.6. You would select a metric meter that have lines marked in 1 centimeter divisions, or perhaps in divisions of 0.1 centimeters. To report the length of an object, you observe the numerical values of the marked lines at the ends of the object. Finally, you estimate by visually dividing the space between the smallest marked lines. This estimated number is the final digit that's reported in the measured number. For example, in figure 2.6a, two the end the end of the object is between the marks for 4 centimeters and 5 centimeters. Thus you know that its length is more than 4 but less than 5 centimeters. You could estimate that the end of the halfway between 4 and 5 and report the length is 4.5. However, another student might estimate the length between 4.4 centimeters because people don't estimate the same way. Therefore, there is always some uncertainty about the estimated number in every measurement. The metric ruler shown in 2.6b is marked with every 0.1 centimeters. With this ruler, you can now estimate the value of the hundredths place, 0 0.01 centimeters. Now you could estimate that the, the length of the object is between 4.5 and 4.6 centimeters. Perhaps you report the length as 4.55 centimeters, while another student may report the length as 4.56 centimeters. Both results are acceptable. In figure 26c, the end of the object appears to be in line with a 3 centimeter mark. Because the divisions are marked in units of 1 centimeter, the estimated uh, digit is the tenths plate, 0.1, is 0. The reported measurement of the length is 3.0 centimeters, not 3. This means that the uncertainty of the measurement, the last digit, is the tenths place. There is always uncertainty in every measurement. Significant figures. In a measured number, the significant figures are all the digits including the estimated digit. All non-zero numbers are counted as significant figures. However, a zero may be or may not be significant depending on its position in the number. Table 2.4 gives the rules and examples for counting significant figures. Sci scientific notation and significant zeros. When one or more zeros is in a large number or significant, they are surely, clearly shown by writing the number in scientific notation. For example, if the first zero in the measurement is 500, 500 meters is significant, but the second zero is not, the measurement is written as 5.0 times 10 to the 2 meters. In this text, we will place a decimal point after a significant zero at the end of the number. For example, if a measurement is written as 500 point grams, the decimal point after the second zero includes that both zeros are significant. To show this more clearly, we can write it as 5.00 5 times 10 to the 2 grams. We will assume that zeros at the end of large standard numbers without a decimal point are not significant. Therefore, 400,000 grams as 4 times 10 to the 5, which has only one significant figure. Exact numbers. Exact numbers are those numbers obtained by count counting items or by using a definition that compares two units to the same measuring system. Suppose a friend asks how many classes you are taking this term. You could answer the question by counting the number of classes. It's not necessary for you to use any type of measuring tool. Suppose you're asked to state the number of seconds in a minute. Without using any measuring device, you would give the definition of 60 seconds in a minute. Exact numbers are not measured. Do not have a limit, limited number of, I'm crazy, limited number of significant figures and do not affect the number of significant figures in the calculated answer.